Today in this video I'm going to show you, whenever I try to start the computer, the computer starts with the Windows logo show, but automatically restarting and then after. Starting Windows normally when enter restart this is the same problem again and again. You can see that every time Windows or your system starts, the computer restarts again and again and shows launch startup repair recommended or start Windows normally. Whenever I start Windows normally, the computer restarts again and again. To repair Windows startup, when the Windows startup repair option comes up, you just have to enter launch startup repair recommended. If Windows isn't starting properly, you can often use the integrated startup repair tool to fix it. This recovery tool will scan your PC for problems like missing or damaged system files. It can't fix hardware issues or Windows installation problems, but it's a great first place to start if you're experiencing trouble booting into Windows. After repairing the startup, it also shows that Windows cannot repair this computer automatically. Click the Finish button when Windows startup is repaired. After clicking Finish, the computer will shut down. After shutting down, you will start the computer. After starting the computer, the same problem again is that the Windows logo comes automatically and restarts the computer again and again. Every time you start Windows normally, the computer will restart. Follow my steps to fix the problem. Whenever your computer restarts, immediately go to the BIOS menu by pressing F2 or F12 key on your keyboard. When the BIOS menu appears, go to the Advanced menu. Then go to Storage Configuration. Many computer BIOS menus will show SATA configuration or ID configuration. After entering the storage configuration, the SATA controller must be enabled. Then go to SATA mode selection and enter. You will see that there are two modes in SATA mode selection. One is IDE and the other is AHCI. You can select any one. I had previously selected IDE mode, so I will now select AHCI mode. But if you had previously selected AHCI mode, you would have selected IDE mode. I will select AHCI mode. Now you can simply save the BIOS settings by pressing F10 key on the keyboard. Another thing you can solve this problem simply go to the exit menu after the BIOS. Settings are opened. After going to the exit button then go load UEFI default settings other computers may have load BIOS optimal default settings. When the load BIOS optimal default settings come up, press enter and simply click the OK button and default the BIOS settings simply. Now you can simply save the BIOS settings by pressing F10 key on the keyboard. Your computer will restart after saving the BIOS settings. Now you enter start windows normally, you will see that your system will start without any problem. This means that your BIOS settings had a storage SATA mode problem, otherwise you simply default the BIOS settings and the problem will be fixed. This way you can fix your computer problems. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.